What is up, guys? It's the One Stop Vince. We have to apologize because... We, we have to apologize, um, so... It was about three weeks ago, I think, we tried to do a week. So we recorded video two and three. Everything on our computer got like a massive virus and all got corrupted and we couldn't save anything. And we thought about what to do and we said, you know what, we're going to put out the rest of the week. So what you know is we're on week four right now. I won week one and two and he won week three. So I have two wins to his one. Um, we can't remember everything we switched out with our polls. But what we can tell you is, I know I pulled out on my side. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, I switched out a lot of my slow pokes, slow bros, and I think I pulled the Cosmog I didn't need. And then I know I pulled out my Beldums and the Tangs from my deck. Um, that's all I can remember that I swapped out. But here's the rest of our polls. Um, there's a lot of chords and this is hard to figure out, as you can see from both our screens. Yeah. But here's, I got a Vickavolt Rainbow Rare, which the lighting is terrible. But Vickavolt Rainbow Rare. And I get a Shadow over it, you can see it better. Yeah. And then I'll let him say his cards. Oh, and I, I have no clue what I changed out. I know mine blue instead of like fire. He pulled out all the fire types, and I know he um made it mostly water now. I, I got nothing really to brag about here except for my two GXs. He got a full art Sobolo and uh, Sylveon. Yep. I don't know why that one was hard for me to say. So Leo stung, because that was the perfect card for me to pull. Yep. Um, yeah. So we're going to continue to the video now. Yeah, so we're going to do our two-pack opening and then continue on. Okay, guys, so we've made our decisions, we've got our cards, we've made our switches. We did our pulls for our two-packs. Can to show you everything I got. Some, some stuff. Yes, I'm glad, which is nice, but not nice enough for me. After a week, we definitely need to do some trades. Probably. I, I need it for Anguru that's not Reverse Hollow. Okay. Because I have, I think, four for my set, but I think I'll have all Reverse Hollow. Okay. So my trades were as a Lily for a Energy Retrieval, because I have a lot of pulls. I really need energy in this. And a Gothiga to a Pikamuka. Because he's going to deal a lot of damage and wipe out a lot of Pokemon for me. That Pukumuka might just keep me alive and might win me the game. And there you go. Well, I mean, I pulled a lot of good stuff. I'm not even going to try and say that I'm not happy about that Vickavolt Full Art. You know, too bad I can't really use it in this league, being my deck being Psychic and Steel. And me having no outlet or his pre-evolved forms to get the Vickavolt. Um, and then I have this nice Espeon GX that I pulled, that'd be great, he probably will be in my deck later in this if I can, especially if I can pull one of those Energy Evolution Eevees from one of my Sun and Moons, and that'll probably happen. But as far as this week, Espeon's just doing nothing right now. And yeah. Other than that, just everything else is out here chilling. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing I did switch was a big Malsada for a timer ball. Which is a pretty decent switch. Now that he's not burning me, I, you know, I have to worry about confusion, but timer ball. That's very true. It's another two chances to pull out a silver layer. And we're going to start that in very soon. Okay guys, so we're going to be starting off the game. Uh, I'm gonna be rolling to see who goes first. I roll the six. We're not doing the coin method this time, we're just doing highest number. Yeah, you roll the three, I chose to go second. Yeah, he wanted the first attack, so 
to get through cards. I drew an opening hand, and I didn't get any piece of gold. So I did do the uh, grab one card. Yep. All my cards are out of order. I need to fix that. That bothers me. <laughs> Not out of order, but like some are facing up, some are facing down. You guys ever have that issue? I always do. I can't see that. Uh, I, I know that, but you can see me twisting things around in my hand. So I get my first poke on the uh, field. I'm reshuffling my deck. We do have to do this voiceover because somebody forgot to record the mic. Yeah. I'm not a technical guy, so I do not fall this. I had the countdown going, I don't know why I didn't go on. Although at this point I should be telling him to double check. Him, so. And I should be double checking him out of way. Anyways, that's okay. Prize cards. Um, what you don't hear is when you say, I hate how you put the prize cards, and you like just don't know that. No, just because I like having my deck and my prize cards right next to each other, so I can grab it. If I did, so, um, yeah. I dock a dinosaur, I'm on the red side, just in case you forgot. I'm He's on, on the mustard side. Yep, ketchup versus mustard. Who will win this epic battle? So, he started out with a mimic you, and I started out with a tail. Out. Uh, now, I, I'm already going to tell you, I made a few small mistakes. And I think we both did a few uh, small mistakes. <clears throat> what do you think? About well, what? They just play wise. Oh, my God. oh, ain't you the best player? So I'm playing Cosmog on my uh, bench. Because I just played a How, draw three extra cards. And now I'm playing a nest ball. And I'm gonna search my library, which I tell you guys to always do, so you can try and get a look at what surprise cards. And I'm gonna play with my beard. So I was looking through there to make sure that I had all my cosmos and I had all my sobers. And then I'm gonna put out my Terminator GX right out of the bench. Anytime. <laughs> you take so long to do turns. I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't blame you. I just try and play the best as I can. Oh, I always do too, but... I don't know. I give myself an adequate amount of time to make sure there's no questions in my plan. Which is a smart thing to do. I should probably slow down. I'm just steal energy on my swallow. And he's passed turn to me because he cannot attack his first turn. I'm gonna attach a, uh, an energy. Down. Yep. I'm gonna have for three. And then I am gonna search my hand and see what I have in there. I have nothing in my hand, so I'm gonna. Uh, I don't remember the attack, but flinch to draw two. Yeah. And that's the end of my turn. So I started by drawing the second energy. Tried to show you my hand, and you do out of a job. YouTube is hard. Loader greens are easy. If any of you get that reference, please leave it in the comments. I'm gonna put a psychic energy on to my Terminator GX. And he's gonna hit me for 20. Reckless charge for 20 and 10 damage to myself. Yep. I'm 
I'm going to play another hell. Draw three. And I'm going to fill my board with a uh, Cosmo. Cosmog. Cosmog, sorry. Attach another energy. Two Cosmo. Cosmog. And I'm going to flinch for two. And I'm going to pass turns again. I'm going to play Cosmo. That was the card I drew this turn. And I'm going to attach one more Psychic Energy right down on my turn meter GX. And uh, you hit him for another 20 and took another turn. Yeah, and I saw my turn by drawing one. And hell, third time in a row. Draw three. And I put my birth switch down. And a Ursula. And I play water energy on my brick switch. No, I don't. I. Sorry. I've fallen. Um, yep. And now I have the water type energy. And I pass turns. I started out by drawing. Did I not attack that turn? I think you forgot. Uh, I think I remember. No, it's not. Put energy on Cosmog. And this is where I holla. So I'm going to take the three cards in my hand, shuffle them in my deck, and draw four new cards. And Rosie again. I couldn't get the seven in my hand at that point. It was a Sogaleo, a Big Mouth Sada, and something else I couldn't use at that time. So it's a risky business for you. Not really. Gotta be wary of Then I played the scuffle there. Yep. Yeah. 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 I evolved into uh no. Zonala. I added energy to my Fish, and I pass turns. Again, not attacking. Oh, good thing. I didn't touch cards yet. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I think I was nervous at the point of like, oh, I just drew 15 cards. Great bold right there. Alright, Ultra Bold. Ultra Bold. And I used a Nest Ball and a Cosmog to Splatter. And I grabbed a Cosmoem. And I evolved to Beware to get three cards. That yep. turn. That's how I had the Nest Ball, the Ultra Ball, and the Cosmog. To do the Fodder to get Cosmog. Very smart move. Yeah. And I played another significant of uh, home. And I took an out in the queue and got my fish. Yeah. I don't mind the game this year. Yeah.
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Mr. Kurt, that's what I was so confident on the fish. I thought it said um, something like prevent all effects of the taps. Yeah. That was prevent all effects to his attack. Yeah. Meaning that if I had some kind of ability to take less damage, I would still took the full mind. Which I think is understandable. Get all your cards inside of it. I don't have time for that. I played an Altar of the Sun, so Fire types and Steel types have no weakness. Both me and my opponent. And I did 20 damage. I play a pressing mood to draw two and take and give my creature plus one damage. Dealing one attack? Yep. Which put the 80 damage counters on him. Because of my turn hater GX's shell trap. That's where he did some whining about shell trap. And that's where we actually proved to him that he read the effect wrong on the card. And he lied about the ability. I guess I can censor that out. I don't feel like restarting this. But it is a ability that I think is just stupid. Yeah, I was fine with taking 110 damage on him, because I pretty much said, well, he's done his job now. Well, Start of my turn, I forgot to put them on, but I chose Vanala. Uh, I do his second ability that deals 130 damage and I get put back up. Um, oh no, I. Sorry, I draw two and. You did his. No, I messed up here. I was supposed to. I was supposed to play Energy Recycler if I played uh, First of the Gooey. So I draw two. I don't remember what that card is. Great ball. Oh, good. So you search for seven for a basic ball. And then you put it right down on the bench. Now I. Yeah, you did. Yep. Draw Athleta. Well, that runner just took Y. He was so comfortable with Athleta. Yeah, that's I hit the 150 here. Taking off all the energies and putting it onto my bench with one. I just put one on each because I was kind of nervous at this point. So one on each Cosmog and one on the Athena. Yep. To get the, uh, the knockout on Turtonator, he uh, forgot to draw both his prize cards. No, I drew one. Drew one, but he tried to take both of them. Yeah. So he, gets, he picks it up later in the game. And he finally realizes. That's when I put out Sogaleo. And I just straight 170 them in the knockout. Thanks to the sun. I played two. Uh, energy structures. Oh, yeah. To return uh, Cosmo and Renal to hand. Play Cosmo right to field. Uh, 
I took over his Ult of the Siren Blade Ult of the Moon, which allowed me to bring back Steel, uh, bring back Sick Pokemon. Sick Pokemon and I believe Fire. I believe it's just so. I got my deck in front of me, I should tell you. Psychic and Dark. And he put one damage counter on me with Rocky in his attack. Yeah. Oh, and I was going to be Nuka Nuka. Yeah. Which I also honestly missed right. He did a Shining Arrow to my Cosmo. Yep. I switch out my people to the good for three. You did a continuous tumble. Yep. With the coin flip dice, he got two odds, which allowed him to do 60 damage to me that turn. Dude, that one time we were playing, you had something like that, and you hit me for like 400 damage, and you stupid, kept going hits. I was like, aww, that was horrible. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that one. Another energy on Cosmog. I played. A... I don't know, I played. Let me evolve. Oh, thank you. Evolved Rocky, 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 Then he played a Deli Bird from his hand. Okay, 30 and 30 damage only. Which I think put me to 110 with so will I am. Yep. I used a timer ball. You were to grab one at a Yep, I grabbed one, which I grabbed a Cosmoam. Now, were you thinking you had this game won at this point, or were you still kind of nervous? Um, I felt pretty confident about it. Uh, I think I had it won. Because I knew in my hand I had a rescue stretcher. I believe this is where I fanged in the sun. The only part of this part I do remember that scared me was I had no energies in hand. And I need one more to do 170 with um, the other Cosmo when I evolved it to Sogaleo. Now I grabbed my prize card because that's where I figured out that I kill uh, Turkey. Yeah. Yep. Or fainted. I believe this is the. Okay, it's in my next turn. Yeah. Now having Sun Glare in hand, uh, Lumel in hand, I completely forgot about that. Killing, oh, killing his Pokemon, grabbing one of my cards. Forgetting to play Lunala. Yeah. This is 
is where I put out beware. And I... You hit me for one... I know I hit you for 120, because he had a 60 plus the extra 60. Yep. You're giving a basic anti-rescue stretcher for Sogaleo. Yep. I remember him putting out Rosarita. I just wanted to get you. Or DJ moving on. Yeah. Seems like an okay strategy. I thought at this point I was kind of going to lose no matter what, so I was just kind of looking for the best. I mean, the confusion was a good bet. This is where I kind of wondered what to do, and I said, I can switch him out. And then, I was sitting there, no, I don't want to take that rule for an attack, I can switch out. And then I looked in my hand and said, I have a big male sod, and this is the time to use it. After playing this drowsy. Because we always need more Danny DeVitos. Always. Took the 20 damage off, get out of the confusion. Look to the desperation in his eyes. Hit him for 16 and pass turns. I'm really thinking that I have no clue what to do at this point. Again, not being smart for him, my Lunala. Or my Sunday. So I play my. Your Lunala, you know, all you have is a Cosmo. I had already knocked out your cause all the time. Oh, you did? Yeah, it was a while ago. Um, I dealt 40 damage to you. Jelly bird. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm 10 away from being knocked out. And then that's where I just said, you know what? I'm going to do the strategy I've had in my mind for the last two turns now. Let's retreat him, lose two energy, put out Sogaleo. Shining arrow, Nebby for the win. Yeah. Even though I showed you I had the energy retrieval and I could have got two and the fangs and the sun on down there. I figured you better show everyone that the strategy with Lunala and uh, so Leo is to actually use Shining Arrow more than you want to use the fangs and the sun. I, I think you should only use fangs and the sun if I play uh, Lunala. No, fangs and the sun comes in a lot of handy. Like, I mean, no, yeah, the shining arrow is coming more handy. Yeah. Being able to have punch control. I mean, basically, yeah, I only try and use it for Lunala, or if you put out like a GX or something like that, major threat. Yeah. Besides that, it's not really good. Oh, it, it can be, but it's better to keep it on my toes. I think this is where you ended the video. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, that was a game I lost. Uh, that was game five from us. Yep. And I that have... Charizard are playing it, though. Yeah, I have five losses and one won. Oh, sorry, four losses and one win. But, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. You guys have been great. Uh, leave a comment on things you saw that we both messed up on. Um, have a great one. Right yep. by school.